right. There we go, Gene. That's Hello. that's the sound that everyone wants to hear. <laughs> it's uh, it just sounds like it sounds like an event. Yeah. When uh, when the music is included, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm watching Iowa. I, that's great, it's Gene. Just bad <laughs> No, Anything I, else you want to add to the show? No, Jim? I'm just saying I, I'm new to the Big Ten Network because we don't get it on Los Angeles cable. And uh, I've been watching all these Iowa sports. Iowa wrestling is great. But, uh, yeah, it can be tough watching uh, your team lose while you're trying to do something else. So, uh, hey, yeah, Iowa versus the Badgers right now in basketball. Um, <clears throat> he's watching it live yeah. uh, during the podcast. Okay, I'm not. Like I'm, a true I'm concentrating. Uh, but, well, Gene, but, you, you, oh, a big meet uh, Friday, Penn State, number two in the country versus number one, Iowa in wrestling. For, oh, for wrestling? <coughs> it's, All right, is, will that be on the Big Ten Network? Yes, it will. Friday night. Can't wait. That is so great. Friday right, night. Well, yeah. yeah. You, you should be like, you know. This, you it know, gives me something to look forward to. I've been missing out because I've been paying all this money for cable and we don't get the Big Ten. I pay anything for the Big Ten Network. Which I have now, and it's a bargain now, right? Yeah, it's only how, how much is the Big Ten Network? Oh, it, well, well, you it do comes the Google, to, right? It comes, no, YouTube TV. Oh, okay, yeah, well, it's, I guess it's so the thing. fifty dollars a month. I which I'd pay for the Big Ten Network myself. All right, there you go. So. It works out for everyone then. So yeah, uh, I, it's great to watch all these big. I'm I'm more into Big Ten stuff now. As yeah, as you get older. You know, yeah. Gene, I could see you being the face of the Big Ten Network. You know, uh-huh. you know, like uh, James Gandolfini was the face of uh, Rutgers. You know, well, uh, I mean, oh, Sopranos, Sopranos um, um, or HBO. Hit. Well, HBO, I'm killing people, HBO. Yeah, you know, and Stu Scott for ESPN. Yeah, you know. Well, and um, uh, Keith Olbermann in the leather jacket there you go. for Cause, ESPN2. Because uh, James Gandolfini went to Rutgers and gave him a bunch of money. Man, I just named like two people that were like dead. <laughs> I know. James Gandolfini oh. and uh, Stu, uh, Stu Scott. I guess oh, that's, uh, I guess Scott. dead celebrities is on yeah. my brain. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we will uh, we'll talk about all about uh, Kobe Bryant. And yeah. Gene, uh, you know, I know everyone back home yes. is wondering what uh, what's going on in Los Angeles. The mood. And uh, how everyone else is feeling. Well, Gene, we are going to report. In fact, okay. Gene, if you yeah. look behind us, oh. we're on the uh, the ridge, uh, the mountain, uh, overlooking the San Fernando Valley. Wow, that's kind of yeah, kind of weird, kind of spooky. Well, it's a beautiful city on the other side of the, the mountains. Of the are, mountain. I I was saying how beautiful the mountains are, but then uh, they can cause havoc <laughs> too. I, you know. Well, Gene, don't take a uh, helicopter to uh, see them. Oh, my Don't do gosh. that. It's all so right, sad. so we'll, we'll talk about all that. Uh, okay. And by the way, if you're wondering, yes, so I, I do have jokes about the, uh, Wait the helicopter. Wait a second. You can't... But they're tasteful, right? They're tasteful. Oh, okay. Well, I don't. But I will tell you, uh, I was out yesterday. So were you. And it was very foggy yesterday. In, all right, so let us let me just get the name of the show in really quick, oh, and we'll yeah, dive right into right. it. So it's okay, uh, it's you. the Midwest Sports Show. That's I'm watching Iowa, Wisconsin. I'm doing a scouting report live. Yep, he doesn't even know who Kobe King is from yeah, Lacrosse, Wisconsin. He, he, but now a, you know he's uh, he's a Badger. He's, he's a bench warmer. Though. I don't know. Maybe he's on the JV squad these days. Mm-hmm. But uh, they don't right. have JV. So uh, my name is Chris Stotts, and then that's Gene Steichen. Hello, and uh, Gene. Let's start. Okay. With uh, Kobe Bryant's mm. death mm. Uh, yesterday. So Gene, I, I like to do this like chronologically. Right. Right. Um, so my, what I did yesterday was I got picked up around 10 30 AM obviously cause wow. I, what the crash happened at nine thirty seven. Yeah. Is, something is that right? like that. Yeah. They left the, they left, they left John Wayne airport in long beach at, uh, maybe it was 10. Not, they left at nine Oh six. And I think okay. uh, the crash happened. Uh, at I think nine, they're in Burbank at nine 47. Yeah. Uh, nine 47. When the crash, when the crash happened. Yep. All right. So they never um, made it to at 10 30. My, uh, my homie picked me up to go golfing. Yeah. And it was funny because we were talking the day before about uh, conditions because he uh, lives in Redondo Beach. Right. You know, right. which is kind of near the beach and it was all cloudy and all that stuff. It was, so Saturday was, was Saturday. They they grounded a bunch of LAX uh, flights. Well, uh, because of the, the fog. So we had right. two days of it. Yeah. Well, but in uh, K-Town over here. Oh, the Korea Holly, town. it was it was. I, uh, I live. OK, then I live in H-Town. I live in Hollywood. You oh, so it was Korea cloudy town. over by you because it was pr- fairly sunny. It yesterday, was no, for, no. Or, no, two days ago for me. Yeah, no, it's Saturday sunny here, but the beaches were really overcast. Right. All right, so right. Saturday was sunny. <laughs> okay, all right, right. Thank you, Gene. 
<laughs> well, the beaches were. Open. Um, all right, so the that was uh, so that was Saturday, so okay. even fun. But then on uh, sa- Sunday when yeah. I woke up, yeah, there was clouds. It was, it was clouds. It was really probably. But I mean, on the ground, I didn't think it was too. I mean, it's not like you saw fog. It on the was ground. really bad early. I was up early in the morning. It was really bad. Then it kind of was better later on. But it was still. However, pretty. it was like around ten thirty when I was outside, and that stuff that we saw, at least like what I saw, that usually happens around seven a.m. when yeah, it's still pretty yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. So uh, maybe the fact that there was so much fog that late in the morning, yeah, maybe points to the fact that there was a lot of fog. Yeah, and uh, seeing so I was uh, going golfing in Burbank, actually in you the hills went, of wow. Burbank. So, so uh, he I was, was he, they probably right over so you. they flew over Burbank, yeah, but yeah, but they probably flew over like two hours beforehand. They, they wanted to land at Burbank, make an emergency landing because because our tea time our tea time was at eleven thirty. Yeah. And so they were already long gone by that time. But, yeah, uh, yeah it's it pretty – the Bell. But the Bell Golf they, Course. they hovered around Griffith Park, right. uh, the L.A. Zoo. Where... So is that true? They wanted to land it? No, because they would have no, landed. They talk, right? No, they talked to the Burbank uh, air controller, and then they, they made uh, – they said he said it's too foggy to proceed that way. He followed the highway. He followed the 101, I think. The pilot did for a while before. All this yeah, well, happened. I mean, what happened after that? But yeah. um, so I got a text from my friend. Yeah. Uh, me too. Probably on the beginning of the third hole. Oh, boy. And basically said, Kobe's dead, you know, mm. WTF, which yeah, uh, stands right. for what the fuck. I think people and, could uh, put that one together. Really. And uh, I, what uh, else could it stand for? I, I was like, uh, you know, I was like, I was like, wow, that seems like a pretty random person. I know. And then I'm like, man, how did he die? Like, was it like a drug right. overdose or something like yeah, that? That's yeah. what that's what I thought. Yeah. And then uh, another friend texted me. He said it was a helicopter crash. Yeah. I'm like, holy shit. That's what's so sad. And then TMZ, they're the ones that were doing all the reporting at the beginning. So people think that. Uh, the, the 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 family found out through TMZ before the authorities. I think I don't know. Well, who knows? I mean, that that's another question. Like, who tipped off TMZ? I mean, was it I the air track? Because who knew that Kobe was on that? Uh, yeah, probably, that's right. Maybe the service. It was probably someone at that helicopter they service. Usually, maybe, or, yeah, because they usually have contacts at LAX and all the big airports. They know where people are and, and they get the flight manuals and stuff. Probably, I think probably only people that would have known that he was on that uh, helicopter was uh, his family. Yeah, you know, and then like, uh, but they probably wouldn't even known that particular helicopter. So it must have been someone in the air traffic controller or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah, inside lake. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? Although I guess that's a pretty hey that you know that helicopter came from the state of Illinois. They uh, sold it to um California. Yeah, Gene. <laughs> is that one of your notes? Or is uh, that one of your oh, one of my notes? Oh, sorry. All right. Um, oh no, I just can't can't win lately. Well, I just want to know um where was uh what did it happen to be Michael Jordan's helicopter? Mm, or what? Because Michael that. Jordan's always hated Kobe Bryant, right? Uh, well, I think he he put they didn't it, want it, to yeah they put, records, they put right? their differences aside yesterday for sure. He made a good <laughs> statement. I mean, well, that's very uh, that's very polite of uh, Michael to finally forgive Colby for uh, have the uh, t- temerity. Is that yeah. what it was? Uh, yeah. Temerity to uh, try to beat his records. Although Kobe came up one title short, so otherwise it would have really yeah. picked up. Steam. Well, he'll he'll never get number six now. So, no. um, wow. And uh, yeah, and then we heaven. and then we of course we find out uh, you know his daughter was on there, yeah. and, and then you start wondering, holy crap, was it like his whole family? Because then you start hearing it's four people. Yeah, there were, there were, now there's yeah, nine there, apparently. Yeah, nine people. And so big some of them were like OC, uh, what do you call it, baseball coaches? Yeah, stuff like that. And then basketball coach, really uh, all star bunch, which he had there. So so we were talking about this earlier, but they took off at John Wayne, Wayne Airport. In uh, the OC, Orange yeah. County. Pretty big airport. Um, and I was like, why were they even taking off there? Because that's like, I've driven uh, I've driven people to uh, John Wayne yeah. Airport. Uh, not worth it. It's pretty right, far. Right. It's pretty it goddamn pretty far. far. Just go to LAX. Yeah. yeah. And uh, But then you were telling me they're, they're in Newport Beach. That's where he lives. Yeah. But... If they're going Indeed. to Calabasas, when did you just take the four oh five? I I that's what that's like what, on a Sunday morning? Like sad. it's not yeah. crazy, right? It was only he was actually going to Thousand Oaks. 
Um, yeah, so you take the 405, only, yeah. which is the highway along the coast. And yes, the 405 sucks. Well, yeah, but and not it's, on it's, Sunday it's morning. It's notorious. Yeah, it's right. notorious, but not on Sunday, like at 8 a.m. Yeah, and it was only, it was only, for the drive was only 36 miles. It wasn't like they were, you know, so. You know, I'm sure he's not driving a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> I'm sure he's got like a nice car. Yeah, that's what's kind of that's what's kind of um, sad about the whole thing. They're they're only 36 well, miles. So, time, so I mean, we were talking about this a couple of weeks ago. You know about that air uh, that helicopter crash in Hawaii. Yeah, and uh, I mean, is anyone? Gee, I I, I guarantee you, oh, the tickets gosh. for uh, helicopter rides are going to plummet. Wow! Like I, I bet the industry takes a nosedive after this happens. And also, don't wasn't there like a, a an owner of a. Uh, English uh, football team? Yes. That died yes. too? Yeah, the owner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, he was the owner of one of the big ones, Man City or Man U or one of those. Yeah. Yeah, he died last year. Okay, yeah. I'm out on helicopters. <laughs> I've never been on one. The only, the closest I ever got, we, one, one of our Fruit Loom commercials, we're shooting on a cliff and they had a helicopter that had a camera on it that was zooming because we we're up there. We we're so they were filming us, but yeah, that's so, so, it. Sound like a episode of the, or sound like a segment from the Twilight Zone yeah. movie, Gene. I know, and then I, I, I saw inside it, but I never took it out for a spin or got around. Now, now I'm just like, well, that's wow. of course, you know, for people that aren't, aren't old enough. Not that I was old enough when this happened, but uh, they're filming. John Landis was filming. Oh yeah, that's another one. A Twilight segment, Zone. Twilight Zone. And, yeah. Uh, he was telling the hot, the pilot. To get closer and yeah, closer yeah. to these two, a- three actors, two yeah. two kids, two kids who shouldn't have been working because uh, they're working longer hours than they're supposed to, and they landed in the water, right? Well, no, they got decapitated. Oh, so, the rotors like decapitated these people. Mm, so uh, yeah, yeah. John Landis ended up getting sued, uh, but I think he did. He didn't like. No, they settled or something. Yeah, no, they declared it like a non-accident or something. Yeah, something. Well, yeah. the kids were like, uh, like literally, like people from Vietnam, right? They're like kids that were kidnapped from Vietnam yeah. or something like that. Like yeah. literally, mm. pretty tough. Pretty tough. Uh, so yeah, not no air, air, air helicopter rides for me for long, ever, forever. And uh, yeah, there's this video going around about how he's talking about how he hates like traffic and all yeah, this stuff. And yeah. you know, well, I, hey, I understand. You know, you got Kobe's a busy guy. You don't yeah. want to spend four. Right, I mean, right. you know, he has to move around, right? You want to spend very, four hours LA's a day in traffic. LA is a very special place for traffic, for sure. I mean, yeah, yeah. But that's oh my gosh, tough one. But take the subway, Kobe. Yeah, I would take. I the don't subway. think he's been on the subway. I use it quite a bit, <laughs> so I was on the subway today. Yeah, dollar yeah. seventy five, Kobe. Yeah. And then yesterday after it happened, man, it was so it hit everyone so hard. And then I I had tickets to a Cirque du Soleil show, which I still went to. You know, <laughs> did I the mean, uh, did the weird uh, acrobats still do? Uh, could you tell they, they were did. a little? They had a heart, heavy heart. No, they they uh, seemed to not uh, really. Well, they didn't mention it during the show. They're French Canadian, right? Yeah. They probably don't even know who Kobe is. Yeah. They seem to have a good time. The audience. It was a great. It was a wonderful show. All right. So yeah, yeah very, very, very sad. Yeah, very sad. Um, I, I mean, again, Gene, I do have some jokes here. Now this oh, is okay. this is not about Kobe. Okay. All this, right. Well, then, about, yeah. Separate. So you also, said you said your stuff about being feeling bad for Kobe and the fan. Of course, yeah. it's so. Tragic. But listen, Gene, my job as a comedian. Okay, go ahead. There. Is to make people laugh. Sure. All right. You remember yeah. George Carlin? Uh, had yeah. a bit. Yeah, you know, like any anything's funny, and then he made a couple of rape jokes. Oh, okay. I don't know how good that how much that would fly these days, but uh, go look it up. All right, George Carlin. Okay, I will um, when we're done. All right, well, Gene, uh, you know how every everyone like uh, is like you know, you know, hug your family and right, tell your right. family you I love. I did call them. my mom today. That helped. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, hey, Gene, I agree. But right, because you never know, right? Yeah, sure. You never know when you're going to be flying in a helicopter across L.A. to get to your student academy baseball game. Oh, boy. Is that- we, we've, uh, Gene, you could go any minute <laughs> d- during that helicopter ride. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Gene. Uh, Gene, that could, ha- <laughs> could happen any time. Good thing you called your mom. That could happen yeah. on your way uh, hey, home listen, today. I've only flown first class, I think, uh, once in my life. So I, I don't see myself ever being on a helicopter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... What else you everyone, got? Everyone hug your family. Well, <laughs> died. How many of these people are going to be dying on a helicopter? Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, and, and Gene. Yes. 
the reaction videos, Gene. Oh, right, right. Just go to CNN. You right. go to whatever, TMZ. Yeah, you and know. the Grammys were in, in L.A. last night at the Staples Center where the Lakers played, so that, that all that stuff. Yeah, that's fine. fine. Ch- you know, you know ch- ch- uh, uh, what do you call it? Dedicate your song to Colby. That's fine. I got no right, problem with right. that, but. I don't want to see, uh, you know, grown men like crying, like mm. about, you know, what I mean, like I, I don't need to see people at a basketball game like crying all that stuff. I, I mean, it happens, sure, document right, it. Right. But w- who goes to these websites and looks up, uh, you know, Shaquille O'Neal breaks down talking about yeah. Kobe? Yeah, and then uh, all so this. Wh- all, who, all, like, wh- why do people want to watch this stuff? It's tough. Even Bill Simmons has special uh, podcast on it, but I didn't listen to it because I just heard so much, and I'm like, oh, I need a break. <laughs> not, not. But I mean, n- I I felt uh, n- it was just it was overwhelming. You know? uh, hey, listen, sad. It was just overwhelming. Really sad. The yeah, guy was forty one yeah, years course. old. I yeah. mean, he he was a good. Well, you know, and then we got all the uh, old Colorado yeah. stuff. Well, uh, tomorrow will be a pretty emotional night because Lakers and Clippers play. So they'll be at the Staples Center. I'm sure that. Uh, and... Listen, I don't want to watch LeBron James cry. All right, yeah. that's not one of my. Uh, I don't get off on that. Yeah. All right. Um, and then now, Gene, have you heard of this? Everyone's talking about putting Kobe Bryant yeah. on the NBA logo. Oh, have yes, Have you heard I this? Did. I did. I did. Knocking off Jerry well, West. Well, all I got to say is, uh, Jerry West, you better start hang gliding. <laughs> Maybe wow. people will care about you again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think did, speaking of crying, did you, Jerry West did, uh, he, he did. He drafted him, right? Yeah, Jerry West. Yeah. And look at Kobe was a number 13 pick at Charlotte. Charlotte had him and they traded him to the Lakers Man. for Vlade Divac. Char- Charlotte doesn't even exist. The thinking? Hornets don't even exist anymore. Or what? Did they well, change they, they changed their yeah. names back? That's the one uh, Michael oh. Jordan owns. I don't know what they're. Oh, they're the Bobcats. They're the Jazz, thing. right? They used to be the Jazz. Well, they moved to the no, no. New Orleans, right? No, Charlotte, sorry. They're an expansion franchise. Didn't That's they? the one. No. no, they were the Hornets, right? And then they moved to then New Orleans. They, no, no. Because who's New Orleans? The Pelicans. No, yeah, I know. That. No, New Orleans was but the they Jazz, for... and they moved to Utah. Right, and, and then a new team went Sh- to New Orleans, which was Charlotte. Uh, the Hornets. Yeah, yeah but uh, New York, Charlotte might have stayed in New York, but they've been in Charlotte a long time. No, but time. then, and then Bob Johnson, that's the reason why they're named right, the Bobcats. Right. Oh, yeah. Bought right. a new team. All right. Yeah. You got it. All right. Thank you. Um, so there we go, Gene. That's all my. Uh, well, good. I'm. I hope yeah, it makes you feel. Better. It, it's one. Of, you know, Gene. Uh, I wasn't alive during the uh, JFK assassination, right, but right. I will. Uh, you know, there's a couple of things I'll remember where I was. You know, I, yeah. I'll always remember uh, watching it on TV in my dorm room. Uh, for September 11th, 2001. Yeah. Um, I, another one. I don't really remember. I remember being it. on the third hole of uh, the Bell Golf Course when I uh, got a text about Kobe Bryant. Yeah. And the of plane course. crash. And then uh, Roberto Clemente was kind of similar because he had just won the World Series. His MVP, young guy, still playing at the peak of it. They had just won the World Series and then he died. And a plane crash on a humanitarian thing. That was, but I don't really remember that. That's before. But, but anyway, people talk. I don't know. So what were you doing? I don't know. So you brought up the fact that it was a uh, well, memorable moment, but you have no memory. Thurman Munson, that's another one. <laughs> but, but he didn't die. Right, that, that, was, that was in the 60s, Gene. No, right? that was after his 78 World Series. Uh, you remember that? No, not really. I, yeah, I do. I do. What well, was, uh, I mean, you remember Reagan getting shot. Him, yeah, obviously, yeah. Right? And how, you know how what? How old were you then? I don't. They that was in the eighties, and you it was know what? They, they played the national championship game that night. Indiana the, the won. The NCAA, right? Yep, Indiana won. Cause they, yep. yeah, they talked about the. Uh, I think I was like one years old when that happened. So. All right. Well, don't do not remember that. Oh All right. Gosh. Well, Colby, uh, yeah. not from the Midwest. Um, probably should have faced the Bucks that year instead of you faced uh, Allen Alverson even when the NBA right, rigged. Right. By the way, kind of kind of weird. David Stern and Kobe Bryant dying in the same year, huh? Oh, a couple yeah, NBA legends. Oh yeah, David Stern did just former died. commissioner. Yeah. Well, so, okay. all right, uh, Gene, we got other news. Okay, maybe more uplifting news. Yeah, JJ Watt. What he? What's he doing? Well, oh, he's hosting I'll Saturday Night Live. He's hosting SNL. That's pretty. I don't. Well, I mean, it's pretty neat. I don't know how good he'll be. Yeah, he might be okay. Well, well uh, Gene, uh, I got a prediction here. Yes. My, uh, I predict that he is a great oh. first uh, 15 minutes, but then he tr- tears his triceps after the musical uh, guest. Um, there you go. 
Maybe that maybe that's what they'll work in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You ever heard JJ Watt tell a joke, Gene? Uh no, I haven't. Wow. Well, like I uh, is this like a ratings? I mean, do they have no one else? I don't know. This is really stunt casting. I mean, he might be okay in some of the skits if they do something, but uh I don't know what they're getting. The monologue, they'll just pray it out a bunch of people, so it won't be so painful. Maybe uh, it'll be okay. Hey, I, hey Gene, I, they never asked me. I'm available. Yeah. I mean, if they needed someone to be a whole, I mean, I can be, I can read cue cards. Yeah. I, I mean, what? I mean, what? They, it's very rare now at Saturday Night Live when they'll do a big monologue. Usually the guy, he'll do a bit of a monologue, then they'll bring out a bunch of people or celebrities. And, yeah, know. to carry them. Yeah, I re- remember when like Steve Martin was hosting SNL. Right, and right. Speaking of George Carlin, how about we get people that can act that are yeah, funny? Huh? Yeah, yeah. How oh, about maybe that? maybe he'll surprise you because Peyton Manning was good, and I guess Charles Barkley was good. I didn't see that. <laughs> that was one. like forty years ago. I know. Thirty years and ago, and Peyton Manning did it too. So, <laughs> oh, I, I don't remember that one, but uh, I I was surprised. It's like, uh, yeah. There you go, Gene. You want to? Here's a here's a stand up comedian fantasy camp idea. Okay. You uh you get to host SNL, but it's like it's like it's like a good cast. It's a cast of your choosing. So uh, you know if you want Adam Sandler, or David Spade, Chris Farley, I mean that might be a little tough. Yeah, you know you got that, or uh, you know Will Ferrell, Cherry O'Terry, you know that that era. Great. Can you, can, by the way, uh, well Melissa Vesia, that's the only person I know on it. But can you name one person on SNL? Do, oh, the one. You, oh, the the current. Yeah, the uh, current cast. The, um, the one the gal who's really good. Is she still on it? Oh, uh, she was in Ghostbusters or yeah, whatever? Yeah, But I don't uh, even know if McKean? she's still... Yeah, last name's yeah. McKean or but she might not even be on the show anymore. All, all I know is from what uh, I've heard, that people aren't too thrilled with the cat. No, I can't name anybody on it. I don't, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, I don't watch us, no. I don't know. Maybe we're just old. Maybe we're just old, Gene. Yeah. Maybe we're just yeah. old. All right. Well, Gene, uh, you were trying to tell me some Bears news. Oh yeah, the Bears. But, oh, uh, they, they, they. Oh, they raised ticket prices. Thanks, I got, Bears. I got some Bears news for you. And then they did something. And else. you read my mind, Gene. Oh my gosh. It will cost a bit more to watch the Bears. They're next already season their tickets are really expensive. Than it did last year. Right. This is from uh, Pro Football Talk, Mike Florio. The team announced on Friday that they will be raising the prices of tickets in all sections of Soldier Field for the 2020 season. There will be an overall average increase uh, of 3.9%. That's a lot because they're already paying a lot of money. Hey, it, well, it, well, that, that's how much they raise my rent every year. Yeah, yeah. Tough. Man, it's, and especially it's, coming off such a disappointment. The problem is the stadium's small, so uh, they can do that, and they'll still sell out season tickets. Well, hey, Gene, uh, if you want to see uh, Mitch Trubisky throw 13 for 26 and 177 oh yards, gosh. you're going to have to pay up. <laughs> That's yeah. not free. Yeah. Wow. It's not free. They they had a rough week because something else happened too, right? Well, I got a couple more things. Oh, okay. We're not done here with these prices yet, Gene. Oh, okay. Uh, Friday's announcement also includes word that the Bears will use a will use a demand based model to set the price for tickets for each game. Oh man, uh, Gene, how about some? So basically, you know, if it's a, like a big game against the Packers, yeah, get ready to pay out oh, your my asshole. Gosh. I can't imagine paying any more than what I did. But <laughs> what uh, did you pay for the opening night? Like Four hundred. Jesus. Oh, gee, I'm sure there's going to be – oh, there's like $1,000 tickets, right, at Soldier Field. Oh, yeah, and I was in the worst seats. Yes, absolutely. Because Soldier Field is Good only Lord. it's only 61,000 seats. And Chicago is the third largest market in the country. And and when the Bears are good, the demand is super high, and they already sold a lot of season tickets. They got, so. they got enough people in Chicago that got yeah, money. Yeah, right, to buy. right, right. Well, Gene uh, – Yes? How about some demand price – Pricing for non Bears games, huh? Because I'll pay a premium not to watch the Bears. Yeah, and if they're going to do that, then are the regular, are the exhibition games, the preseason games, going to be free? Because <laughs> well, and then Gene, how does that work if they're they'll uh, charge if, less for preseason? Then they'll really jack up if, the prices for uh, like well, Green Gene, Bay or when they're out of the playoffs by game ten. Are you yeah. think they're going to relax the rules here a little bit? I don't know. Maybe week seventeen against the Vikings yeah. and they're uh, six and nine. Yeah. 
Well, uh, Gene, this uh, fran- the sorry ass franchise continues to. Uh, they they've had a rough go. Write its own jokes. Yeah. The Bears have not been sold, Gene. No. At oh le- yeah, that's at least what not that's yet. what it was. Why would they're never going to sell? Why would anyone confuse that? Well, apparently, a Twitter hack on Sunday morning announced the sale of uh, team of the team to Saudi Arabia official Turkey Al Sheikh. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, wow. the uh, the Bears Twitter got hacked. How do you? And someone how do you, was writing how that. How do out. you have a? How do you, how do you use your Twitter? Wouldn't there be so much security in place when you're when you're a franchise to not get hacked? Well, Gene, I'm thinking maybe uh, Virginia McCaskey left her PC unlocked again. <laughs> you yeah, know, at the is. office, if you uh, right. you know if you don't uh, lock your PC, how old is she? she's ninety four. Someone 95. takes it over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Gene, uh, if you if you read that headline to uh, George Hallis, would he uh, he would knock you out, right? Oh, in the yeah. face? that that's gonna that that franchise is gonna stay in the family. He would have no idea what he right, just said. Right. Yeah, Twitter, Saudi Arabia, Turkey Al Sheikh. Are you kidding me? All right, um, Gene, uh, what do you think about the Bears' 2020? Cam- I don't know. Campaign? It's a slow start. I mean, it. <laughs> Um, to raise January, sticker prices, yeah, it's a slow start. At, the fans are already disgruntled, and 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 then you got all week to hear about how great Patrick Mahomes is, which I agree with. Not not, not good. Yeah, then they got. Oh, it's tough because um, Patrick Mahomes could be in the Super Bowl every year for the next decade. And the Bears. <laughs> oh man. Uh, speaking of, uh, I don't have it on the docket here, but, uh, yeah, the Super Bowl is next week. Do you want to make any, uh, predictions? Yeah, go Chiefs. I, I'm just, I, this is all with my heart. I want the Chiefs to win. I do. I want them to win. Please. They got great fans. They haven't won since like 1971 with, uh, Hank Stram. Yeah. Chiefs. Yeah, Andy Reid. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll root for the Chiefs, too, just because I like, my— I, I, San Francisco is great because, you know, there's four Iowa guys playing, four Hawkeyes in the game, so well, that's good. okay, Kittle. Yeah, okay, I don't uh, That's know. the only one I can name is Kittle. I know, me too. Wait, who else is in it? <laughs> Isn't there, like, a fullback or something like that or Probably. a couple of offensive linemen? Yeah. Oh, there. I think a defensive—I uh, defensive, uh, think a linebacker for the Niners is a uh, Hawkeye, and then probably a couple guys on the Chiefs. But that's pretty impressive. But— I just want the Chiefs to win. I do. I hope they win. Oh, I don't need. Well, them. well, I mean, Niners got fans too, so uh, it's. Uh, I don't want them to win. They've won enough. Go all right. Chiefs. Well, Gene, my uh, I, I have a friend from uh, middle school and uh, high school who was a Chiefs fan back in the nineties, and we used to make fun of him all the time because the Chiefs were terrible. Right. Right. Terrible back then. And, yeah, they uh, were bad. But he's him. still a fan. So if he can finally get a uh, Super Bowl win, well, good, good. Have, I'm, have, I'm rooting for the Chiefs, Keith. I know they have such great fans. I, I oh, yeah, go Chiefs. And Andy Reid, I mean, that's Andy oh Reid to win. Oh my gosh, that would be so amazing. And then, and then I love that the players all showed up in Miami in Hawaiian shirts while he was wearing a suit. Yeah, yeah, but they Bit love him. They reversal. love him. They love him. And he's 61. Everyone's like, he's gonna keep coaching for a long time. Well. Have you seen how big he is? You know, you never know. Uh, as long as those arteries uh, hold yeah, up. That's the is the problem. game over or what? Is yeah, that... Iowa actually won. So they did I win? Don't, I don't want to rub it in. They All came right, back so... and won. They were down by 12 with six minutes left, and they ended up winning by seven, I think. Wow. Yeah. Bad, bad. Almost. I don't think Kobe King was playing. Uh, Wisconsin's, uh, they've been struggling a little bit. They've yeah. got some great wins this year, but uh, they've lost a bunch of games too. All right, so let's uh, give a final score for the uh, Super Bowl. Okay, I'm going to – wow, wouldn't it be great? I'm going to say – well, Niner defense is so good, but why not light them up? 45 points. I don't uh, – I think you're right. I think it will be 42 to, like, 38 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I don't know if the Niners can score that much, but – Well, they score of, that much against the Packers. Oh, yeah, that's six. right. So I, I think the yeah, uh, yeah, the Niners right. I bet will get, like, some turnovers early. Go, I bet it will be, like, 21 to nothing. Just I'll like go all these 45 to – 37, something crazy. Maybe we'll have a crazy game. It'll be like the uh, Pro well, Bowl yesterday. Well, it's, hopefully it's a fun game, so everyone yeah. enjoy your Super Bowl. Yeah. Any, any Super Bowl plans, Gene? Any? Yes, uh... well, I'm going to watch it. <laughs> okay, well, with the sound off? I think I'm going to turn the sound on. Okay. 
I, right. I believe so. Who is Fox, right? Joe Buck and uh, Oh yeah, Troy. Troy Aikman. I like those guys. Well, I like I like those guys and I like Tony Romo. So I hope Tony Romo. Tony goes. Romo was good on the uh, AFC Championship. He's game. so good. I hope he goes to Monday Night Football. Sorry, Booger. Well, Gene, you don't have e- Oh, you do have ESPN, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't think ESPN is on, or I don't think Monday Night no, Football is no. on the app. Um, it's, it's on NFL. YouTube TV. They got all the ESPN. But you know what? YouTube TV doesn't have the only channel they don't have. NFL Network. Yeah, that's what kind I'm saying. Of a I big deal. I don't think they have football games on the uh, online thing. All right. Anyways, uh, that remains to be seen. Um, um, all right, and then we just have some baseball. Gene's baseball season is uh, it, fast it, it approaching. Just, every day gets worse for the Cubs. Now uh, everybody loved Nick Castellanos. Uh, he came to the Cubs late in the season, and he helped them. And he it was just great, great fit. And he wanted to come back, and then he signs with the Reds for not a big contract. I'm like, oh, Cubs. Man, the Reds are on a uh, rampage. Yeah, they four years, sixty-four million. That's only sixteen million a year. That's a that's a pretty good bargain for a guy like that. Oh, uh, it's a long-term contract, huh? Well, he can opt out after one year, so maybe he's going to opt out and come to the Cubs pretty, next year. Pretty scary. I mean, the Re- Sunny Gray yeah, Reds for the Reds. Have, they've signed a bunch they, of guys. Uh, yeah. They might be a uh, force to be reckoned with. Yeah. Uh, this year, so uh, all right, but Gene, we do have some Brewers news. Okay. Any, any other Cubs news, by the way, Gene? You want uh, to I'm, us? I'm somewhat. I'm hopefully. Oh, the Cubs are looking at Scooter Jeanette. Jeanette. See, there you go. What the hell? Hey, he. They, he if you see his swing, Gene, yeah. look at his swing. He has a sweet swing. I know. Last you year fall in love with his sweet though. swing. Well, I hope so. I mean, they'll probably only offer him a minor league contract. The Cubs, they weren't messing around when they said they're getting under luxury tax because they have not signed one. Uh, nobody of note at all, at all. Hey, have fun, David Ross. Yeah, yeah, you better hope. Uh, well, maybe, the, I don't know. We'll see. I'll see him in April, so. Well, Gene, I got some Brewers news okay. for you. Uh, there was a uh, California Strong uh, celebrity softball game, or no, no, oh. or maybe it was a, uh, no, I think it was like a Packers, you know, okay. whatever, fan event, whatever. Christian Yelich, uh, I got interviewed. Was asked about the uh, Astros cheating scandal because oh, uh, right. a lot of uh, little dirty rumors, yeah, being uh, whispered on the internet mm. about the uh, Brewers uh, participating in a similar scam, and uh, I think uh, you know, yeah, uh, Yelich was asked about. It. He said, "We don't do anything like that." Yelich said, "We haven't participated in any st- sign stealing." Good for you. Well, Gene, case closed. Yeah, that's, that's all you need. That's good enough for me. Yeah, weren't aren't the Astros when they get to spring training gonna? I the, the owner already said they're gonna apologize. So, well, Gene, uh, David Stearns came from the Astros. I'm sure he knew nothing about uh, <laughs> any of that. Yeah. So, uh, no, no, no. They got no, it. No they got it. They they already, everyone's it's kind of out there. Maybe they just ought to just uh, said, yeah, we we maybe took it too far. We're sorry. Uh, How about Altuve? Have you been uh, following this kind of Altuve thing? There's, like, videos of him, like, hitting a game-winning. I I think this was in the playoffs, actually. Yeah, The ALCS, uh, right? Yeah, or the World Series, one of them. I think it was the ALCS because against the Yankees. I could be wrong. Uh, But he hit, like, a game-winning home run. Yeah. And he's basically, like, clutching his jersey. I know. Uh, as he's uh, rounding the base, you know, about to hit home, which, uh, you know, at the time, you're just like, well, that's kind of weird. But then if you think about, like, he probably had some sort of electronic device yeah. tapping him, letting him know when there was a, uh, you know, a, a change-up or whatever. Wow. Those and guys, he, he acted exactly like you would act if you had a secret device on they, you and they, didn't want anyone to rip I, off your shirt. I would shirt. have been all for them vacating the title. It's hard to give it to the Dodgers. And then, he immediately, and then he immediately went to the uh, dugout. He yeah. immediately went out, you know, downstairs and changed, like, shirts yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm glad the Cubs in because that would be painful. That would just be okay. It took 108 years. Oh, hey, by the way, the title's vacated. Yeah, 2016. Oh my gosh. gosh! And then you say, now oh, we got to do it again. It was almost. It was like how hard it was the first time. <laughs> another, oh, another 108 man. years. Yeah. What's the uh, the curse of the Billy Goat? That's uh, yeah. That's the that was Cubs, 1945. Right? This is a, we got a new curse of the Billy Goat. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Curse of the uh, trash can bat. Yeah, that's. Uh, I hope the Astros are terrible. I do. I hope they get what's coming to them. Whatever. I don't know. 
And hope. Right. And then By the way, uh, you know, Gene, the Cubs are going to be really bad this year. I, I Ma- hope may- not. Maybe they send an invite to uh, Steve Bartman. Maybe yeah. try to make him like a. Uh, hey, listen, the like ex- an honorary usher. The expectations have lowered so much uh, that maybe the Cubs will actually be decent. And the good thing is the Brewers and the Cardinals haven't done a lot. It seems like the Reds have done a lot, but maybe they'll backfire on them. I don't know. All right, and then uh, just another really quick uh, Brewer note. Uh, it's, po- it's Ryan Brewer. I'm sorry, Ryan Braun. This is the last year of his uh, guaranteed contract. Oh, wow. Uh, he was Finally. asked if he uh, will retire this year. Uh, he said it's possible. Yeah. I don't think the offers are going to go come flooding out. Do you? Uh, I mean, mm. you know, Gene, he's a, he's a dis. You know, he, he he's does, got, yeah, he'd yeah, definitely be a right. DL in the yeah. American League. There you go. Come in for big moments, hit a home run, get a double or whatever. Guy can still hit. All right. Well, you good know? luck to you. Although I don't mean that. I don't mean it at all. I don't like Ryan Braun because uh, I don't know. I I, th- I bet I bet he ends up on the like Angels or something yeah, like that. There you go. I bet the next year he'll be on the Angels. I bet. Okay, Joe Madden will. I mean, unless he wants to uh, take a big price cut and stay with the Brewers, but uh, I think he's like, hey, I got my money. Um, he, you know, he's from California. He probably goes mm-hmm. back to California yeah. and, uh, plays for Joe Madden yeah. and, uh, the angels is a uh, DL. Hey, Oh, by the way, uh, I got tickets to see Pearl jam too. That's my big closing. All right. All right. Well, and, you're, you're and, about 30 years too late, but, uh, I know, but and, and t- my seats are funny. They, they probably cost crap. more now than I, they did 30 years oh, ago. Oh yeah. Cause now they're, they're probably they're like 10 bucks. Tech, yeah. Because they used to do weird stuff where they fan, but now it's ticket master and tickets. And and I got really crappy seats, but I just wanted to see them once, and I think <laughs> this might be it. Yeah, they they fly helicopters a lot, so oh uh, you gosh. never know. Yeah. By the way, Gene, did you see uh, 1917? I did. Great. But you know what? I hope it doesn't win Best Picture. Because after I got done seeing it, I was like, that was really good. I never want to see it again. Oh. But as opposed to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood or some of the other Irishmen you, where you can watch them more than once. No, nope, I'm out. But it was really good. Yeah, great. Ugh. Yeah, it was a uh, enjoyable. But it wasn't one you'll, you'll be – are we going to be talking about that movie in 30 years like we will? Uh, um, you know, maybe Saving Private Ryan. You know, we still you – know, That I, is different. See, Saving Private Ryan, you can rewatch. How many times – you can rewatch that a bunch of times. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, uh, but yeah, it was good. Okay, who am I to say? Okay, you're. Well, no, I think great. I think you're right. Like I, I necessarily wouldn't want to see it, but uh, you know, as a war film, it's uh, oh my probably gosh, one of the better it was ones. So great, it really was well done, and it was just so simple. Just trying to get out. The, yeah, it was. Yeah, it's just great. it's not really a story. It's just these guys trying to like cross yeah. the. Uh, yeah, just get to the next team. Yeah, or get yeah, to the next uh, call uh, squad the or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Just get, deliver a message, boys. And they're like, ah, uh, okay. But it was great. And they, all the people they encounter along the way was pretty cool. Yeah, I saw it at the Cinerama Dome where oh, you yeah? saw it. Oh, no, you saw what, it at uh, that When did you see it, and were there anyone else in the audience? Yeah, there were, but I, I liked Cinerama Dome because it's so big, and then you can kind of um, – So, those, so I sit in the back. So that's almost like an IMAX thing, right? Yeah, it's not though. Uh, Chinese theaters IMAX. Uh, where right. the, so where I saw it. Open. I saw it at some theater that was like on the second floor of the. Uh, oh. Of the arc light. So uh, I don't yeah. think it was uh, Cinerama. But, no, uh, Cinerama Dome's the one up front, right, right on Sunset. Okay. All right, Gene. All right, How so that will be the show. Ones? How's that? <laughs> yeah, there. Oh, you. my mom's back. I think she she was she got kicked off Facebook for some. She violated their uh, good conduct policy. Terms and conditions? Yeah, but I think Mom back. Love you, Mom. Thank you. All right. So, uh, well, that's going to be the show. Let's see if this music kicks in here. Oh, there we go. There All you right. Go. So, uh, job, for Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Stotts. It's uh, been the Med- Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Oops. I appreciate